Stymied by the bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic in Hanoi on Tuesday as the teeming Vietnamese capital absorbed the arrival of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, Sean Hannity decided to get to the studio another way. After literally 40 minutes not moving, we're getting nervous about getting on the air, Hannity told his American audience, I hopped on a scooter. The Fox News host and close confidant of President Donald Trump broadcast images of himself, clad in the same navy blazer he was wearing on the air, zipping through Hanoi's clogged streets on the back of a motorbike. And by the way, we were riding on the sidewalk there, in case you were interested, he added. Hannity is here in Hanoi ahead of an exclusive interview with the president, the first sit-down with Trump at the conclusion of his second summit with Kim on Thursday. It's not the first time Fox News's highest-rated primetime host has been granted this kind of special access. Hannity has chased Trump around the globe, from Singapore to Helsinki to Hanoi, for interviews with the president, offering up softball questions at pivotal moments of the Trump presidency. The result? The first snapshot of history gets filtered through a sympathetic lens. While thousands of journalists traipse across the world to cover major presidential events, it is rare for opinion hosts to make such trips. But it's become standard practice in the Trump era, as the president has personally invited friendly figures such as Hannity to accompany him on international forays or asked his press aides to schedule the interviews for him. The president has at times sat for simultaneous interviews with mainstream reporters in Singapore. He talked with both Hannity and ABC's George Stephanopoulos, but just as often limited his one-on-one -on -one conversations to a friendly interlocutor.